Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, right now it is 3.08 and uh, we still, today is a Friday and uh, we still have uh, many uh, open position for the afternoon session. Uh, I'm not going to bring all the charts down, but we still have the NASDAQ, ES, CL. Those are the last trades uh, on the, the, they still have uh, open in a position. And um, so on the last trades, there are uh, 2,500. They are somewhere around between 1,500 and 2,500 on the last entry. So there is a lot, a lot of the charts are still open for the afternoon session. Uh, on the morning sessions, uh, we had the uh, Nasdaq did very well, 2700, despite the market was uh, stopped when uh, it was uh, stayed uh, uh, on a sideway uh, around between 10 and 11 o'clock when we were on the other channel. And then uh, we have uh, the CL. Uh, this one here was done around 12 o'clock at 2700. Also, uh, the DAX, the morning session was done around 1048, uh, 6500. And uh, the DAX, another one, uh, the five minutes DAX is 9600. It was done around one o'clock. And then uh, we have the CL uh, was done around. Twelve o'clock, five thousand three hundred, and this one here around twelve o'clock at CL nine range thirty six hundred, and then uh, we have the Nasdaq the four hundred. It just made a couple thousand, the afternoon session, and then uh, we have thirty nine hundred uh, on the morning session uh, with the the Nasdaq, and then twenty one hundred the morning session on the CL eight range. And then uh, we have also uh, 2600 on the CL. Uh, for the market analyzer, the market analyzer have five. In the package, there is around 20 different type of an auto trade from institutional to scalping. Uh, this is an example of scalping. If you don't want a swing trade like uh, those charts here, this is swing trading. You can uh, do scalping as well. And um, and uh, the scalping also it is a very friendly use uh, does not uh, require um, a lot of work um, and then we have around five auto trades on the market analyzer at this moment the last entry signal on the ES uh, we got forty seven hundred ticks on the last entry signal not the whole day on the uh, last entry signal on the NASDAQ, uh, there is uh, 92 takes based on one contract, not four contracts or two, one contract, all of them. And uh, YM, based on one contract, we have a 12 takes in the profit from the last entry signal. You don't have to trade all of them. If you are taking one ES, one NASDAQ, one YM, uh, you have on the last entry signal 46 takes into the profit. 90 ticks in, on the NASDAQ and 13 ticks uh, on the YM. Also, I want to also this is as an example. Uh, the YM from the market analyzer. If we look at the YM based on one contract, there is 15 takes. I put two contracts is double the amount because is um, one contract is 17 takes, 85 and two contract are 170. And the reason the YM is lower than the NASDAQ and the ES is a very simple. You can see why there is uh, the heavy resistance on 32.9 right there. 
and then the, your support area is exactly from the entry signal. So that's why uh, the YM did not, um, even the YM followed the ES, but uh, the, the resistance was heavy on the YM. Uh, another potential also a trade in uh, between the fibs we have the latest on the m strategy to trade a micro or an es uh, is built for both actually this is, is a based uh, not like on uh, two contracts or three contracts this one here you can feel it uh, to uh, if you wanted to trade one or two or three contract usually this one here takes one contract so that's why you see all the average is around 1000 the things is if let's say you put two contracts in there if the first trade went the opposite direction then what it does it take another trade on the next level and then readjust it and exit out as soon as possible to level out your average price so this is a total uh, different approach to the market despite the difference between the swing trading the swing trading can uh, make as long all of them they are on 1000 but let's say on this one here if the market going to your favor the auto trade is not going to close and there is a potential like we have seen on the DAX can go up to 9,000, 10,000, so it stays with the trend. But on this one here, it is stay with the average, uh, your daily target. If it's 500, will stay around the 500. So the daily target is 1,000. And because there is not much over the 1,000, sometimes you get like on the last trade here, one contract, uh, one it was going to your direction it got 1250 but this kind of tools is not also uh, as an auto trader what it is also uh, can approach the market when it's sideways so the trader have from a reversal auto trade to scalping the uh, the market on a sideway market or swing trading or there is on this auto trade there is like a huge variety of entry type of an entry and filter where you can set your condition the way you want it if you are a conservative you want to trade micro account on the swing trading you can do that or in a normal e-mini or nasdaq you can put the number of contract and your daily target of course let's say if you are trading the micro account we usually try to keep our auto trades on one thousand dollar daily target but let's say if you are trying to uh, uh, use the same on a micro account so you have you cannot put one thousand dollar daily target this is impossible so you maybe you want to put 100 or 200 dollars a day on a micro account so um, with the performance at the, because also you have to think that sometimes the market is not trending, sometimes the market is sideways. So at the end of the day, like when we are looking at the performance, don't underestimate, maybe it is a slower process with the PNL, but it is at the end of the day, you cannot say the swing trading is making more money than scalping between the fibs because also this one here is a very consistent between the the fibs so at the end of the week or at the end of the month you will see uh, they are head to head with each other you know not not if the, if you know what you're doing with the swing trading that's a total different if you just want to activate the swing trading on a trend a day, that's a total different story. But to turn on both of them on uh, every day between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning until achieve the target plus or minus. At the end of the month, you will find those two competing with each other. 